Hello everyone, it is Sosuke the Bro here. Today we're here to talk about Arxis News. Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, Cross Tag Battle 2.0, oh my god, there's a tank in the game! Under 9 in Birth Clear with their new character and functions. And without further ado, let's get into it. Roll the intro. So, let's talk about the new Guilty Gear and how it is the most beautiful fighting game I have ever seen in all of my time on this planet. I'm not exaggerating either, like, this game looks phenomenal, especially compared to Exard and Fighters and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, like, those are the other 2D and 3D, 2.5D Arxis Fighters out at the moment, well, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus isn't out at the moment, but you, 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 you get the idea, you, you get it. The point is, this game looks phenomenal, like, oh my god. Everything about this, Soul and Kai looking like they they decided to hit the gym and bench press the entirety, like the entire weight of the salt of the Smash community. Shout out to you if you saw saw what happened yesterday because beautiful. But just talking about this, like this game, I love Guilty Gear, to hell and back. Like this is one of my favorite video game series of all time in terms of like fighting games. It's one of my favorites. Like, Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, Under Night, all that shit. I love it. I could probably go on a 10 minute sermon about just two characters alone and their dynamic and how they play off each other. It's just so good. Everything about this looks good. The stage transitions, the fact that you basically have Blackbeard's Devil Fruit from One Piece. Like, seriously, he hit the, he hit the air and he fucking smashed it like it was glass. That is beautiful. It is just, it is a beautiful sight, and like, I just don't have any other words. It's new Guilty Gear, and it looks clean. And can we talk about how my boy Kai went from having the long hair back to his classic, like, X to accent core and backwards hairstyle, where, like, it was, you know, it was short, it was cut a certain way, and he went back to it, but my boy got the clean coat, he got the, got the black t-shirt underneath, looking like Rock Howard. About to hit him with the Raging Storm, or should I say Greed Saver, for the 18th time? I really hope that isn't a thing, because I love Greed Saver to death, but that move... Give him something else to use that isn't that... It, it, it's like Greed Saver, small mini rant about Greed Saver. That move looks like it's moving in Witch Time, and at light speed at the same time, so... You, if you play Guilty Gear and you play online Kai's and Xard, you get where I'm going with this. It, it, it's just like, what the hell's going on there? Why is this move moving three times the speed of light? Also really slow. It, it's just, it looks good. And can we talk about Mom Boy at the end of the trailer with the dreads? Like, yo, Captain crisp matic out here, like, and that mask, the way it came on? Yo, he looking to be crisp, like. I might main him. I might main- I know nothing about this character. He'd be a charge character and I main him just because of his design alone. He's just that sick. That's how I got into a lot of anime and games. I, I saw like one character. That's how I got into JoJo. I saw Dio drop a steamroller on somebody in a video and was like, I want to know more about that. But yeah, this- Gu Guilty Gear is looking to be really, really good and I cannot wait to play Guilty Gear 2020, because right now the title is just Guilty Gear. Like, the OG one for PS1. Anyways, let's move on to the next segment, because we're going to be talking about the great Undernight Inbirth and the and that new character, Londrakia. Moving on! So, when it comes to UniClear, this was a little out of left field for me, because it was just a sort of, like, teaser thing spoiler leak I saw a while ago, which was announced through, like, Singapore or some shit for, like, Switch, and PS4, and PC, which I like. I'm very excited to play UniClear because Unist, I've been, like, I get that the community dies off every now and again in Ranked, and it, it happens with a lot of fighting games. It, it's just emotion things go through. 
Games live, games die. Such is the nature of all things. But, Uniclear is looking to be really fun, especially with those new functions. Hide Sword Beam. Hide Sword Beam. Gordo's terrifying as hell. Grim Reaper Break. Like, seriously, that shit looks fucking scary. Just, Grim Reaper, stop. Hammer time. Like, no, that's illegal. You, you can't do that. You can't Grim Reaper and then stop to be fancy. This isn't Devil May Cry. Actually, that'd be pretty sexy. Undernight Devil May Cry game? Shit, get that. Get, slap some cell shading on that bitch? That'd be fucking sexy. I'd play the hell out of that. So, I'm getting off topic. A anyways, it looks really cool. A, a lot of things, like, I haven't noticed a lot of things, a lot of the new shit. I noticed that Lene has a Helmbreaker now. But a lot of the other characters, it seemed like it was all woven together and interlaced in a way so that it kind of just flowed in their moveset naturally. Like, the beam that Hyde did and Gordo's Reaper Break, which I'm calling it that until I see the actual name, and Lene's Helmbreaker are like two, like, those are like three very distinct things I noticed. Because, oh my god, those look really good. Like, excellent tools. And if you were to CVO, that Reaper Break, you could probably confirm with a JC. I'm talking a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Some casual gamers don't even know what the hell I'm saying. Um, I, we'll talk about that in the future. A anyways, continuing. The game looks pretty clean. The new character, Londrakia. Yo. This Ice Boy, though. I kind of hope he gets in a cross tag so we can have, like, double ice sword memes with him and Jin, and then we could just kind of swap Yumi, Mitsuru, and Vice around, like, just, just keep keep them going in a loop, because I, I don't know what the hell to do with them. That That's a story for the cross-tag segment. But, Lundrakia looks pretty cool. I like the animations on his moves. I guess that was his infinite worth exists at the very end there, because it looked really good. Early 2020, I'm still holding out that Uniclear gets a dub because a, a majority of the cast is going to have a dub thanks to cross tag and the rest of them can be like found you know for the game original like it'd be nice by the way just saying Robbie Damon I can totally see him voicing Lodrakia it would be fan fucking fantastic beautiful anyways that's all I really have to say about Uniclear not much I'm pretty interested in I'm going to be picking up definitely day one. I'll stream it with friends, with randoms, you know, see me salt, because I'm not the best at fighting games, but I'm damn good. I hope to see you all there on day one. Moving on to Cross Tag Battle. Cross Tag, Cross Tag, Cross Tag. Holy shit. I love this game to death. Yes, it has problems, but oh my god, I can't stop playing it. Like. I think it's one of the most easily accessible fighting games, like, in terms of just being simple out there. Like, it's still very complicated in its buttons and stuff, like, when you get in technical ship. Let's talk about how they not only showed off four characters, they showed off two new series, and all four characters have new sprites. Akatsuki has a new sprite because he doesn't run. He has a step dash. Yumi is a new sprite. Neo is a new sprite. Blitz Tank is a new sprite. All hail the Tank Gang. Um, hose mad everywhere because uh, Tank Gang coming. Everyone has a new sprite, which that's amazing. This makes me think we're gonna get like new sprites for literally every character coming out in the pack. Either that, or we're gonna get two from Akatsuki Blitz Comp, two from Sendan and Kagura, and another one from Ruby. Meaning, hopefully, 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 hopefully we get like cinder to go with neo because if you haven't seen like the previous season of ruby that's out um it makes sense and can we please get asuka either asuka homura or miyabi because i need a different character to play besides water flavored ice cream yumi is fun like, her playstyle is really fun. Like, she has, like, a lot of cool moves in her own games. In her own game. But I just don't like her character. She's... She's bland. Other people have done the stoic thing better. Yunarikami does it, and he's hilarious about it. Yumi does it, and I'm just like, wow. 
there are other cities to go look at. I'll see you later. But she's overall okay. She's not the worst Sunderland character, like, by a long shot. No, 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 no. Yumi could be a better pick, but I guess they went with Yumi because she's one of the four faces now. It isn't just about Asuka and Homura. It's, you know, all four of them now, I guess. Eh, whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. We got a new stage from Estival Versus, which I really like that area in Estival Versus. It's very nice area. I wish it was more open, though, compared to, like, where you get to run back and forth and shit. Um, the UI is looking so clean. Like, oh my god, that, that, that UI is sexy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Delicious. That UI is looking pretty good. Like, I like how, like, you know, it shows the character names, and then it shows the color of the series they're from, and it tells you the series they're from, like... Or, I think it just shows the color of the series. I'm, I might be wrong. You'll see it on screen. And we also have the way the counter changed from, instead of just, you know, being another generic change, it looks different. Now, with all of these changes to the UI, can we please get a different character select screen? Like, oh my god. I don't like the character select screen. I get lost sometimes. Like, uh, just, just, there's gonna be a whole separate video I'm gonna be doing about what I want for Cross Tag 2.0. But, yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, sorry about the mini rant about Yumi. But, yeah, that was it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, there's gonna be another video following this one about what the channel's gonna be about. And, uh, I'll see you all there. I have been so scared, bro. Stay hydrated. Uh, play fighting games, play video games in general, and please have yourselves a damn good one.